ambassador, uh, U.S. ambassador to Thailand, Eric John. Eric, thanks for joining us thanks, this sir. afternoon. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the outlook from Bangkok these days? You know, the, the headlines are sort of uh, make everybody feel like it's a little rocky there. But uh, what does it look like uh, from the from the embassy? Well, I'd I'd, I'd probably draw a line between. Uh, political turbulence and political instability, and I think a lot of Americans, foreigners, might be confusing those two, and what you're probably going to see in the coming months is a continuance of political turbulence, which is okay, it's a democracy. Mm -hmm. I don't see um, this as political instability. I mean, you've got uh, red shirts, yellow shirts, of course, but they're tip of the iceberg, uh, but both sides of the aisle are pretty engaged democratically right now, and street demonstrations, sure, maybe uh, a little bit of uh, violence, we hope not, it's not appropriate, but um, it's it's largely a very positive product of a democratic system. So this is sort of the dem- democratization process, not pretty, but on the way in the right direction? Right, and... Yeah, I mean, I, I know people will say, well, they've been at this for quite a few decades. How can they still be democratizing? Mm-hmm. But it's, uh, you know, they're coming out of a coup. They're only two and a half years, less than two and a half years out, out of a coup. And the fact that you've got big street demonstrations on either side, you've got a very free press, uh, you've got a judiciary that's working, a very active uh, parliament, you know, all the institutional um, gears are clicking. So uh, Thailand's one of our five treaty allies in Asia. Right. Uh, how do you see the relationship from that prism as a, as a treaty ally? Is it, we have it right? Is it, what, where, where do you think it's going in terms of... Well, the you know, I, I think that the, uh, the treaty ally, alliance is, is vital to the United States and probably underappreciated. Mm-hmm. It's not, obviously we don't have troops on the ground stationed there like we do in Japan and Korea. Right. So it doesn't get those types of, of headlines. But if you look at what we do uh, in partnership with Th- Thailand, we have our largest multilateral training exercise in Asia there every year, Cobra Gold, right. uh, with six, 7,000 troops this year from the United States. Right. Um, it, it was, you know, Thailand is the basis for us being to be able to provide the humanitarian assistance that we did in the tsunami that we did to Cyclone Nargis in, in Burma. Uh, it's a, you know, a great partner for force projection beyond Thailand. They're a great ally for live fire training, for uh, military training. They're uh, an outstanding ally. Um, a lot of, has been talked about recently in Washington about the rise of China. And um, some say that uh, China's influence in Thailand has has really risen, and and maybe even uh, you know at, at the expense of the United States. Do you think that's fair? Uh, what should we be watching for? Uh, well, I think we should be aware that that we have competition, okay, for affection of ties, and that's fine. Uh, you know, I think competition's good. I, I'm I'm confident in our ability to be able to compete, right. but we do have to be aware that there is competition. I think that we. Um, you know, need to be uh, very aggressive in demonstrating our appreciation for Thailand. We are uh, very good at uh, working with them on uh, in a democratic partnership and reinforcing their democracy. And you know, I think as we look at places to make the president's pledge on doubling our exports in five years, uh, we need to be looking to, to allies like uh, Thailand, democratic uh, allies like. Thailand. And if we do that, I think that we'll stand up uh, and measure up very well to China's uh, inroads. Thailand was the place where ASEAN was found uh, in 1967, but it seems like they've sort of not had the bandwidth to really be a major player in ASEAN recently. Is that a fair uh, observation? And do you see the Thais sort of reasserting their central role in, in regional architecture at some point? They will. I mean, it's it's natural for Thailand to be at, at uh, the center of ASEAN, and certainly over the last few years they've been preoccupied with domestic politics, and that happens to a lot of people, uh, a lot of countries. And, and and I think it's okay. You know, they'll they'll emerge. They really are going to emerge stronger uh, as they as they go through this uh, sort of introspective period. Uh, 
domestically, and I'd, I'd rather have them doing that and then reemerge stronger. But they've, you know, they've they've done their homework on us, you know, but uh, they they certainly will uh, remain one of the core and members and a leader of ASEAN. Okay. Uh, last question. The, the U.S. has uh, revised its policy uh, uh, posture on Burma, and, um, you know, uh, the jury's sort of out on, on what kind of results that will get. Uh, but what are the ties telling you about uh, uh, their perspective on, on Burma, and what are their reaction towards the, the, the new U.S. policy? They, uh, you know, the ties certainly welcome a dialogue. They want, they want the U.S. to talk. To, uh, to Burma. More importantly, I would look at, at where the Obama administration and the opposite administration line up on Burma. Hmm. And you know, both Thailand and the United States want a, a well-governed, transparently governed, democratic Burma at the end of this process. Uh, both Thailand and the United States, I think, have a healthy skepticism about uh, the elections that are supposed to take place this year because the Burmese have been anything but transparent right. about it. And you know, it's it's important that uh, we continue a very healthy dialogue with Thailand uh, about the developments in Burma. But I, you know, the ties aren't unrealistic and they're not uh, overly optimistic, in, in my opinion. About where you know this process this year for uh, Burma on elections, and uh, like us, I think are maintaining a healthy skepticism on it. No, I think the uh, you know I think the most important uh, part for you Americans when they're looking at at Thailand is to remember that uh, you know they are a, it's a vibrant democracy and it can be messy mm-hmm. sometimes, but they're a, a very important economic partner, they're an important cultural partner historically, uh, and you know, you look at Thailand and you see a country that, where on the individual and on the state level, they really want to be uh, a close friend and, and partner of the United States, and it's, you know, that type of friendship is something we really should put a lot of value on. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Thanks for